Pio Kipriek, and I'm with, what's your name? Ronan. Ronan, how often have you been in Medjugorje, Ronan? Uh, I lost count, maybe 30 times. Uh -huh. You're from Ireland, right? I'm from Ireland, Dublin and Ireland, yeah. Wow, what did you do as a profession in Ireland? Um, IT. IT, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And um, you said you come so often to Medjugorje. When was it the first time you heard about Medjugorje and you came to Medjugorje? Uh, my wife, Paula, came in 1996. Yeah, and I came in 2003. You came in 2003, and what what was your first experience when you came to Medjugorje? Yeah, unbelievable. unbelievable. What, what happened? I arrived at one o'clock in the middle of the night. Yeah, and I just felt I was coming home to Our Lady. Uh -huh. I had this amazing feeling of peace and calmness. I knew I was in somewhere special, even though I, I couldn't see. I was in the bus and everything was dark, but I knew I knew I was in a somewhere very special. Wow. And did you re receive any healing in, in Medjugorje? Yeah, I did. I didn't know I really, I didn't realize I needed healing, because, but I, I was spiritually very poor at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw all these wounded people around me who were here for a special reason, and I wondered, why am I here? There must be some reason for me to be here. And then I realized I was here for spiritual healing because I, was, I, was, I, needed, a, I needed to be spiritually enriched. Enriched, remember, deepened. Uh, how would you describe what the process was? Um, I was in the Oasis of Peace. I was, uh, it was adoration. I was in front of the. There's a there's a very lifelike crucifix there with real hair on the on the on the statue, mm -hmm. and I was asking God, um, is everything true? And I heard this voice saying, Yes, everything is true. Uh -huh, wow. So that proved to me that God exists. And you got a got, you got a, a lot of peace out of that then? Oh, yeah, well I knew from then on I knew that God existed for sure, for 100%, so I, I had to, you know, adjust my life and give my life over to Him. Uh, and it changed like you, you, you went and now you go to confession, you do the oh, masses, do, all yeah, the other? Mass and uh, yeah, we were in a community called the Neocatechumenal Way. Yeah. And we, uh, we meet twice a week, once for the Eucharist and once for uh, Bible studies, so mm -hmm. we're getting very familiar now with the Bible. And you're following the five stones of Our Lady? Yeah, well, we try to. You know, fasting is different. Yeah, that's a different part, yeah. That's it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And what would you like to say to people and um, why should they come to Medjugorje? Um, you come to Medjugorje dragging your cross behind you mm -hmm. and you leave Medjugorje carrying your cross. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you okay. so much for the testimony. Bye bye. Bye bye.